Volpe been so good in the playoffs when he struggled during the regular season. He's got a, a 2.04 goals against. He's got a save percentage a little, a tick above seven during the regular season. Why has he been so good during this playoff stretch? The only goalie playing better than him right now is Mark Andre Fleury for Vegas. Yes, um, and you know what? They're, they're two totally different games, right? Um, that uh, Vegas plays and the Capitals play. So I, I think that. I just, I have never seen, thank you very much, I've never seen Braden Volpe in such a zone. I mean, the focus, the intensity is is just off the charts right now. And, um, I mean, what what I really, is, is depth. Like, uh, his little stint here in the playoffs, he had been kind of, um, a, a little too deep in in his net and kind of going off his reflexes. Now he's bringing he's bringing the play to the players. You know he's he's aggressive, he's assertive, um, he's making them miss if not making the save. So I mean, you, you look at look at the save he made. I think it was a against Hornquist uh, uh, in, late in the second period. Uh, last night, and you know he makes it. He makes a save with his shoulder um, on a save that, uh, or a normal occasion that that might have gone in because he would be sitting so back, uh, so far deep in his crease. And uh, he just looks. He just looks like he's in his zone, and he doesn't look like he's um, afraid to get beat at all. It's 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 a fantastic thing to have that as a goalie. The confidence is sky high. It looks off the charts. Put us in Matt Murray's head when he sees Kuzi coming in for the game winner, and when he knows he's been beaten five hole before. Does he does he think that that's where he's going to go, go again? Take us through that process as a goalie. Oh, I I think that um, automatically he knew he was going to go five hole. So the problem with what. Uh, Matt Murray had to deal with was that because of the speed Kuzi was coming with, he has to he has to cover you know the whole crease. Mm-hmm. So in doing so, it opens you up, and and that's exactly what Kuzi thought was going to happen. He's going to take it on it on his uh, forehand, the backhand, and because of it, and because of his speed, and because someone was chasing him. He's got to cover all that crease, and it's about six to seven feet where he's got to cover with his pads down low. You know, you try and get your stick there as a goalie to, to you know, kind of protect the five hole, but you just can't do, uh, because of the speed, you, you can't cover the whole thing. And uh, he knew exactly what was going to happen when, when it happened, and he, there's just nothing you can do. Nothing he could do. It's great. Like he couldn't bring his uh, trailer pad over enough, and uh, and because of it, it's a two-one overtime game winner, and the Caps are going on. Man, it feels good too, Brent. Um, and, I, and I was talking earlier about the <clears throat> guy after skaters, you know, the Walkers and the Vranas, and it, it just seems like a good mix. Um, you know, I'm not saying it was a blessing in disguise that Wilson was suspended. Can't say that, but um, the fact that these younger guys were able to play, you know, Backstrom got gets hurt uh, last night and didn't play. Yeah, uh, it was just a good yep. mix of the four or five young guys with the vets. Well, it was. You know, I I, I know this for a fact. The, the Capitals are better, way better hockey team when Tom Wilson is on the ice. He yeah. provides okay. energy and, and enthusiasm, and and we know that. Um, but yeah, having those guys step in there. I mean, you think about it. The I, I wouldn't say unsung, but the unlikely hero, you know, to me is what happened on that fourth line early in the game. They were they were dominant. Um, Chase on gets a goal, gets a feed from uh, Walker. This is phenomenal stuff. The depth. This is why you have guys in your system that can come in and provide different things for different games. And whether it be a speed game, whether it be a heavy game, uh, you know, the Capitals have that. And and they showed that last night. I mean, you know, Chase on getting the goal, yeah, I mean, maybe it's a goal Matt Murray wants back, but it's him doing the right things. 
It's him getting the puck to the net. It's him being assertive in his game, uh, you know, handling the puck below the line, uh, you know, forcing turnovers, uh, puck retrievals. These were all things they did so well last night. And um, it was a very, I don't know uh, how to say, it was just a very, um, you know, kind of touch and go game last night. I mean, you saw it was, I think the shots were like 15 to 17 after the second period. Normally, um, it would be a lot higher. There, there would be a lot more shots on net, but both teams were kind of uh, feeling each other out. They were playing a very good game in the neutral zone. Uh, so it was kind of hard to generate uh, a ton of offense. But when the Caps needed to, they they played well defensively, and their goaltender had to shine bright at times, and he did just that. 